Welcome back to Let's Use the C Word. Um, I thought it was probably time for another little update. Uh, I think last time we caught up, it was uh, Sunday um, and things were looking pretty good. Um, so I was just starting to feel a li little bit better coming off the back of the chemotherapy. And that continued into the week. Um, really started to get a little bit more comfortable in, in terms of the nausea. Um, and actually it was quite interesting because as um, the work week started, it made me realise just how much I'd struggled the week before. Because first of all, I actually started to feel pretty normal. Um, sorry, do excuse me, I've just had a, uh, a chocolate brownie. Um, <laughs> so I should have finished that before I started this. Um, yeah, so I started to feel yeah, a lot more kind of back up to speed, a little bit more um, in terms of energy. And, and then what it made me realise is the week before, it had really actually quite hit me, hit me hard. Um, and which is fine, you know, it's, it, it's exactly as was described. So then Thursday just gone was my birthday and I was actually feeling really pretty good. Now, one of the things that I've said before is um, I've had to um, look at how I'm gonna tackle this MRSA that I appear not to be able to shake off. So, and obviously it's really important for me to do that before the surgery because that's the point where MRS MRSA can be dangerous um, because if you're going to do any kind of open um, surgery with, a, with an open wound that's when it can start to cause some serious problems so the I had a group of people uh, liaising on how best to do that um, and the answer is a fairly intensive um, program of antibiotics which consists of two main antibiotics um, and because I was feeling all right on my birthday I thought right well I'll I need to do this and I need to do it, you know, in plenty of time such that we can run a series of tests to make sure that I'm clear in time for both the laparoscopy and the main surgery. So I decided on my birthday I'd, I'd kickstart that, which was, you know, fine, no problem at all. Uh, but unfortunately on Friday, um, it would appear that the side effects of that combination of antibiotics decided they'd, um, they'd show their face, which was basically making me feel pretty much what I had done the week before. So I felt nauseous, um, again, really horrible taste in my mouth. Uh, and then actually in the Friday night, um, woke up in the early hours of the morning, actually borderline feeling physically sick. Uh, so scrabbling around at the um, various different instructions for the two antibiotics to find out if I can take the anti-sickness tablets that they give you through for the chemotherapy. Um, this is the one I've mentioned before that's called, I call my champagne drug, which is the Dom Perignon. Um, it's not actually that, but it's very, very similar. Um, and because it said under one of the uh, antibiotics, do not take anti-sickness drugs, and they listed a full kind of a, a list of, of various ones. Now, the one that particular one wasn't on the list, but I therefore didn't have the confidence to take it because I thought, well, if others aren't appropriate, then perhaps I should be a bit cautious. So didn't do anything. And then on Saturday, managed to get some amazing advice from my um, specialist secretary, uh, who spoke to a pharmacist, um, who basically said the best way to manage the side effects, because the side effects that I was experiencing were exactly um, down to the antibiotics, was to basically stagger. So what I had been instructed to do was to take one of each of the antibiotics in the morning and the same again in the evening. Um, and the advice was if I stagger that through the day, um, then actually those side effects should be uh, eased slightly. So that's exactly what I did on the Saturday. And equally, they confirmed that I could take the anti-sickness tablet. So the combination of those two things actually made me feel pretty much up to speed um, and kind of back to normal to the point where um, Amy very kindly treated us to an evening and night away on Saturday evening, which we thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed. Um, and even to the point where we went out for dinner and I had steak, the thing I've been told I shouldn't have, but I felt good um, and I felt confident enough that, you know, if I was sensible in the way that I consumed it, which sounds ridiculous, but it's all about making sure that, you know, you sit up with a proper kind of posture um, and also that you chew. And this sounds really obvious, but it's amazing how quickly you get into the habit of not chewing food properly. And anything like this can really make you realise when you do that because you can feel it. Um, so yeah, fabulous meal on, on Saturday evening, felt good again uh, Sunday, which was yesterday, and again, for, uh, same again today. Now I am having to manage things because I am getting nausea, 
even though we're staggering. Uh, and I'm also getting some horrible metallic -y tastes. But that's just one of those things. It's a 10 day um, series of antibiotics. So once I've kind of cleared that, then I should be fine. Just have to go through tests. And the way they test it actually is quite interesting. So they have to test three consecutive tests, 48 hours apart, all must come back negative in order for them to have confidence that it's actually out of your system and it's gone. So that's what I'll do next after the 10 days. Uh, what else have I got to update you on? Oh, the, yeah, interesting. So the laparoscopy that I'm going for on the 20th, the same time that they do that, they're going to fit um, the feeding tube that I'll need. And I can't recall whether I've kind of talked about this at all, but post-surgery, uh, the nutrients that my body needs will not come from what I consume um, orally. They'll actually come through a feeding tube, which goes here, somewhere around here. Um, and that'll be administered, obviously, whilst I'm in hospital recovering in that period. Uh, but also, when I then come home, I'll actually bring uh, the same, uh, same kit home, and then that will actually be um, something that will happen overnight. So my body will receive my nutrients. It's like having a midnight feast, I suppose, um, actually overnight through this kind of machine. I don't know a great deal more about it than that, but that's what I kind of know today. And they actually fit that during the laparoscopy because then they've got plenty of time to ensure that it's all OK prior to the surgery. So, yeah, lots of little things that we're finding out as we're going to the next phase of the treatment programme. Um, so I'll share with you as I know more about that. Uh, I also had a CT scan last week, so I hopefully should get results from that at some point this week. And then equally, I shall um, get back in touch and let you know how things are going. So I shall see you very soon.